What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Tyler. The truck is the Sandworm. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a little mod, but uh, it's gonna change the look of the truck uh, somewhat. And I'm pretty excited about it. So for the longest time, I've debated on these orange side marker lights. Um, I actually like them. So I've went back and forth on getting blacked out ones or just keeping the orange ones. Um, well, today we're gonna be changing those. So a company called Boost Auto Parts reached out to me and um, offered me a choice of side marker lights. And I've looked at their website before and looked at some of the stuff for the truck. Uh, just haven't purchased anything. Uh, but they're one of those companies that make good quality stuff, unique stuff, I would say. And uh, I'm pretty excited to work with them on this video. Um, but I have the side markers right here and I'm going to show you those, but boost auto has some cool stuff. Like they've got, they've got this device, um, you can install on your truck and it allows you to have your fog lights auto turn on with the headlights. They have one that allows your fog lights and low beams to stay on when you turn on your brights. Um, they have some running boards that have the, the side light on them. Uh, which are sequential or non-sequential, whatever you want. And for those guys that tow campers and stuff with these trucks a lot, they have uh, tow mirrors. So you can get tow mirrors from them, which I think is pretty neat, um, especially if you tow a lot with this truck, because I towed a trailer with this truck. And with these little mirrors, you cannot see past the trailer. But anyways, on to the side marker lights. These are them. They have different options. They have a smoked versus frosted lens. They have orange or white running light, or you can get orange or white sequential turn signal lights. So you can get ones, if you want the light up white, you can get these to where they're blacked out, light up white. And then when you turn your blinker on, this side of the truck will flash orange, or you can get blacked out with the orange light um, and you turn your blinker on, they'll flash orange, or you can get frosted, like let's say you have the white canyon or something. The frosted ones will look pretty cool. So they have a couple different options. What I went with was the uh, smoked and white running lights. Um, I didn't want the sequential stuff. Um, I just wanted this to be simple plug and play like these are. Um, just to show you guys how good quality their stuff is. And I'm going to link down below the link to this stuff, their website and uh, their instruction video. Their instruction video will probably be a little bit more in depth than mine will be. And full disclosure here in their video, uh, they recommend disconnecting your battery before installing these. I'm not going to do that um, just because I have a lot of stuff connected to my battery and I don't want to accidentally reset anything. Um, but these are simple plug and play if you get the normal just running lights. Um, you just pull out the plug from your orange ones and plug them into these. If you get these sequential, they're plug and play, but there's like two extra steps you have to do. Like you get a module that plugs into the back of your headlights. And then from that module, you get a new plug that would plug into these. And then you tap into your existing plug. So a little two or three extra steps with the sequential, not hard. The hardest part of those would be running the wire from the front to the back to get the back sequential, um, not difficult, but these ones, normal running lights will be the most simple install. Just plug and play, pop those out, plug them back in. And uh, we're gonna start doing that. And before I do that, if you watch their instruction video or mine, whichever, there are gonna be 18 Torx bit uh, screws that you will pull out of the front here on both front sides to pull the, uh, the liner completely out. And then on the back, these are these are going to be T15s on the front. On the back, I believe they're T18s, and there's two of them. And then you have two push push clips that you have to pull out, and then you'll just pop the fender out for the back one. The back one's a little different. Um, 
you can't get to the light with pulling the uh, fender liner out in the back. So I'm gonna do this side, kind of show you what it's like, and then I'm gonna get everything installed. And um, yeah, we're gonna do that. And I would recommend if you do do this and you pull your liner out, go ahead and tighten your bumper out. Cause I know a lot of us have an issue with GM and their bumper kind of just popping out a little bit. Well, if you pull that liner out, you can get up there and get that bolt and tighten it down and uh, you'll be good to go. I already did the other side, but I'm pretty excited. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Okay, so I'm about to pull out the front liner, get all these Torx bits out. Uh, I was gonna point out or show, I got this off Amazon. It's a Craftsman electric ratchet. I didn't even know these existed until I saw it in somebody else's video. But I'm gonna link this uh, down below just because it's uh, it's so much more useful um, especially when you get into spots you can't really fit like this I mean it's got a right angle so you just stick that in there and that pulls right out so I'm gonna take all these out real quick and then uh, we'll pull the liner out okay so got the liner pulled out enough where I think I can get up here um the two t18 torx bolts that i was talking about are actually on the lights so you'll need a t18 for that but i'm gonna unscrew this so we can pop this out and i'll show you how it plugs and plays and uh, then we'll start on the back okay i take it back these are t15s i realized that t18 does not exist in my toolbox and I haven't researched or anything, so I don't know if it exists at all, because my toolbox goes from T15 to T20, and that's all the toolboxes I have do the same. So T15 for this, so the two T18s are the rear, like I thought in the beginning. So I'm going to pop this out real quick. Okay, so I have this unscrewed, and this pops right out. You kind of got to twist it out to get the plug out. Um, but... Hopefully you guys can kind of see that plug. There's a little locking part in here. You pull that back. I should, yeah, that's just a tight, just a tight fit. Um, so there's the old one, same plug. Now we're gonna put in one of the new ones. And I'm going to keep the old ones just in case I ever want to change them back. Plugs right in, locks in, and then you push the red pin back in. And then you push the cable, twist, and it goes right back in. Pull the plastic off. And pretty much that's what it'll look like now. And mine will light up white. You can get these that light up orange, like I said earlier. And then you just tighten your all your bolts back, put your liner back, and uh, you're good to go. So I'm going to put all this back together, and then we're going to move on to the rear and do it. Okay, guys, so I just made it around to the uh, back to install the new light. Um, and it appears, I think Boost Auto may have a 23 Canyon for their uh, demo vehicle um, because I got back here and my bolt for the fender is actually a T15. And I believe in their instruction video, they said the rear was T8, uh, T something different. It was something different. Um, but it appears to be a T15. And then there are three um, I'm gonna call them buttons, push, push pins. There's one on the front fender and then two on the rear. You pull those pins out. If you have a trim tool, trim tool, you pull those out and then you pull the fender out to get to this light. Um, cause this rear fender is a little more difficult to, uh, get to the light through. Um, so I'm going to take out the two bolts on the fender and then take out the three push pins and then pull the fender off and install this light. So we'll be uh, right back after we get to this install. I'm going to link down below extra clips that I ordered off Amazon that fit this truck. 
um, I'll order, I'll link down the extra fender clips that work and also the one that I just broke, which is uh, these little guys. They're cheap on Amazon and worth keeping around, especially if you do a lot of installations like I do. Uh, because, well, yeah, I just broke one, so. And I broke that one as well. And I think that's just due to the dirt that I, the dirt and the mud and all the gunk. And that one broke too. They just shatter. So yeah, those are good extras to have. I don't know why they're just shattering. But anyways, now, let me just, just wiggle this around. Actually, I forgot a bolt. Okay, pop that bolt out. Now, we should be able to just put this out. These are gonna be, uh, okay, that one didn't break. Good. Dude, that one might broke. But I have extras, like I said. I hate messing with these fingers. Like, this is not fun. There's another broken one. GM does not make this too easy to do. said no to these lights just because I did not want to do this. That's as far as I'm going with it. That's enough. That's enough room for me to work with. Um, Cause I can get to this plug here. Cause I don't want to risk breaking any more than what I just broke. And some of you might be better at this than me. So, but we're going to take bolts off okay. there's one pull this red locking pin out and then that's a tight fit pull it take the new one Plug it in, you hear it click, and then it'll lock it. And then we're gonna bolt it back down. These bolts on these lights are T20s. I think I got lucky on the front ones, or maybe the rear ones are T20s. But okay, now. Anyways, I'm gonna put all this back together and then do the other side and I'll show you the end result. Okay, we have all the lights installed. Before I show you the end result, um, there's a couple things that I wanna show you, give you some tips more or less. So when you do the fronts, um, Boost Auto, their video shows to take all 18 of the bolts out and pull your liner completely out. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can take just the front ones and then a few of the middle ones out and kind of just pull the front down and you can get to it. Uh, the benefit of taking them all out and pulling the whole liner out is you're not working in a tight space. Um, doing it the way I did it, you're reaching up under there instead of being able to see everything clearly. Um, definitely 
look into the link that I linked below for the uh, extra pins, the extra, you know, push, whatever you call them, the uh, push pins, whatever. Um, you will break a couple pulling these off, just fair warning. Um, but they're cheap. They're like $10 for like 30. So fairly cheap. A whole new fender, just FYI, I looked it up, is like $110 for a GM one. Um, so just order clips and you'll be good to go. I think the fender on the other side, one of the welds came off, so I'm missing one whole clip right here. But it's still snu uh, tight and snug. Uh, but we have everything installed. Everything's good. I'm gonna link this below. This is a lifesaver. I'm also gonna link the uh, the clips. Like I said, I'm gonna link all this stuff here because there's extra clips in here. And then that bag is the for the fender flares. These ones are gonna be for, um, you can use these for the bottom. And I'm also gonna link, I found some of these. Um, I found some of these, these are zip ties but they're clips, so like under the hood, if you have wires and stuff like mine, you can clip those in and zip tie them. Um, and then I'm gonna link all the trim tools and everything. But anyways, everything's installed. We're gonna wait till it's dark, and then I'm gonna show you what these look like at night. I can give you a little sneak peek. Um, I'll hit the blinker here, so. This is what they're gonna be. They're gonna obviously look way better at night. I mean, they're bright as it is. Um, and the reason I went with white is because I had the white rock lights, the white ditch lights. So all my lights are white except for this little bit right here, which you can take some uh, black PPF or something and cover that up if you really wanted to. But anyways, let's go ahead and skip to the dark.